Madagascar, the world's fourth largest island located off the coast of East Africa, is home to over 250,000 species of animals. Due to its isolation, 70% of those species are endemic, meaning they only reside in Madagascar. One endemic species it's most known for are lemurs. The Indri Indri are the largest living lemurs in Madagascar. They are diurnal, meaning they are most active during the day. They are well known for a wailing, almost siren-like call, which sounds like this. Indri are found in the eastern rainforests, but are severely threatened by habitat destruction caused by slash and burn agriculture and logging. They are sometimes hunted for bushmeat, but the local Malagasy people largely consider it taboo to kill Indri. The plants and animals that reside in Madagascar, in many cases, can only be found on this island. In fact, 5% of the world's species are endemic to Madagascar. The astonishing rates of endemism are as follows. 84% of plants, 88% of mammals, 52% of birds, 92% of reptiles, 99% of amphibians, and 65% of fish. This is why conserving this beautiful country is necessary for the perpetuation of so many of the world's species. Unfortunately today, Madagascar faces several threats to its unique environment. For example, there's a town called Tampulu in the northeastern region of the island. It has a littoral forest, which is a forest that resides on the coast meeting the shore. Following a political coup in 2009, all international funding to conservation projects in Madagascar were cut due to the removal of the previous president. This made it especially difficult to continue the necessary work. That's when community-based conservation became especially important to the continuation of conservation projects. Community-based conservation means protecting the flora and fauna of a region in a way that involves local people and benefits both the scientists and the people who live within the region. Community-based conservation can be accomplished in a variety of ways. The Basin Mafali Reserve is another amazing example of community-based conservation, and we got to experience it firsthand. During our trip, we had the opportunity of staying at the reserve for five days. While we were here, we learned a great deal about community-based conservation. Baza earned the designation of reserve in 1986, but conservation began in the area in 1975. The main conservation goals here are to research the flora and fauna, help the environment, and to help the community. One of the main research projects at Beza is their Shafak project. The last main goal, which is to help benefit the local community, can be carried out in a lot of different ways. One small example of how they work together is when some of the miners of the local community needed to buy some new equipment, but couldn't afford to do so at the time. So, some of the people who worked at Beza fronted them the money until they could be paid back for the equipment. This is just one small example of how the reserve and the community are able to work together. If you would like to help conserve the incredibly diverse and incredibly threatened flora and fauna of Madagascar, there are a few things you can do to make a difference. First, if you would like to support the Beza Mafali Special Reserve, you can visit the link posted in the description of this video. Another way you could help would be to purchase a calendar that will be sold by Madagascar Study Abroad. The calendar displays beautiful pictures taken by JMU students who studied in Madagascar this past summer. The calendar is full of interesting facts about Madagascar. The proceeds from these calendars will go to help conservationists at Tampulu Reserve to reforest the park. Lastly, there will be a donation box for Mitsinju Park next to the calendar sales. Any amount you can afford to donate will be appreciated. The money will help fund many of the park's amazing programs, including their education program, reforestation program, and the Frog Protection Project. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope that you learned something about the beautiful and unique wildlife of Madagascar.